Well, scientists say there is new proof of the genius of Albert Einstein. They say a prediction he made a hundred years ago as part of his general theory of relativity is accurate when it comes to so-called gravitational waves in space. A group that has been looking for them at a special observatory says their devices picked up the waves in September of last year. Gravitational waves are created by massive forces like orbiting or colliding black holes. Because the waves pass straight through matter without changing it, they could open up a whole new area of astronomy, giving us a clearer picture of black holes and other unseen parts of our universe. My next guest was one of the leaders in this discovery, joins me now to discuss what it all means, and we're talking about Laura Cadonati, who is a professor at the Georgia Institute of Technology's School of Physics. Uh, professor, terrific to have you on. What you and the others have achieved is both extraordinary and for most of us mere mortals, impenetrable. What is the simple person's explanation for what this discovery means? Well, what this discovery means uh, is two things. Uh, so on one end, we have now found the missing uh, piece in uh, Einstein's theory of general relativity. Um, so we now know he was really right all the way through the end. Uh, we also know that uh, we now have a new way to explore the universe around us. Uh, gravitational waves are, are going to be a new probe, uh, are going to give us new information on uh, some of the most mysterious objects in the universe, such as black holes. And uh, once we combine what gravitational waves are telling us, uh, together with what we know from electromagnetic observation, uh, we're going to have a more complete uh, picture of uh, the universe uh, around us. So That's starting from the black holes all the way out to the Big Bang. It's, a, it's extraordinary, really it is. But how do you use then the, the gravitational waves? How do you put them to use to do that sort of research and exploration? So, well, for instance, uh, we didn't know uh, for sure that there were black holes that are the size, uh, you know, 30 to 40 times the size of the sun. Uh, now we do know that those objects exist. We know that uh, they uh, form pairs and they merge. And so uh, this is uh, information that we didn't have at all. Um, looking at if there were to be, um, say, a supernova in the galaxy, uh, then we could uh, know what's happening inside the supernova uh, because gravitational waves are uh, very different information from uh, electromagnetic waves. And so they tell us uh, what's happening inside these very dense objects, such as uh, black holes and neutron stars. Mm. So to make an analogy, um, you can, uh, you know, we can uh, hear sound, we can see lights, we combine the two sets of information mm -hmm. and we have uh, our perception of reality. So we're going to do something similar. We're going to have uh, the gravitational waves, we're going to have electromagnetic waves and uh, a better perception or better understanding of the universe around us. So uh, what's extraordinary about this is, I mean, obviously you've achieved this, you've shown Einstein was right, but perhaps what's more extraordinary is that he came to this conclusion a hundred years ago and he didn't have any of the fancy toys that you guys have. What, what does that tell us about him? That he was a real genius. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's uh, you know, he had this uh, unbelievable um, um, imagination, I guess, this uh, ability to... to um, to imagine what, what is at the underlying uh, explanation of reality around us. And he has ma made many, many uh, important predictions. He has uh, redesigned the way gravity is. Uh, so he has brought us a whole new perspective. And uh, 100 years later, uh, we have been able to prove the final missing piece of the theory. So um, it's the, old, the old thing is just amazing. Uh, you know, he could have that vision and then uh, um, thousand people have been working to uh, bring it all to realization. So uh, yeah. that's, that's a major progress for humanity as a whole. When, when, one final question. Do you think everyone else in the world who was hoping for a Nobel Prize in physics can now just go home? 
Well, I guess I cannot talk for what the <laughs> Nobel Committee will, will have to say, but we are really rooting for uh, a Nobel Prize in gravitational waves this I, year. But, I, I'm, yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you've got a really good shot. <laughs> um, <laughs> Laura uh, Cardinati, thank you so much. I appreciate it, Professor. Thank you.